Well, hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today you find me uh, down here at, uh, I say down here, from, from where I am is up here, up here in Essex way. Um, took a two hour drive from where I live up to the beach huts here at OC. Uh, before I left home this morning, I actually looked at the weather, uh, looked at the tide times and gave the caravan site a quick call just to make sure that it was okay if I used their car park out the front. Now the lady on reception was really, really helpful and uh, couldn't have done enough for me um, and said it was no problem at all to, to leave the car there while I come down and photograph the beach huts. Like I say, it took me just over two hours to get here. A bit of traffic at the Dartford Tunnel and an accident, uh, I think on the M20. Um, but yeah, not a bad run up. Um, popped into reception when I arrived, spoke to the same lady that I spoke to on the phone. Uh, again, very, very helpful. Um, so if you, ever you want to come down and, uh, or come up, come down from wherever you are to do the beach huts here at OC, it's worth giving them a call and uh, just asking permission to use their car park and they are more than helpful, more than willing. Um, and just, uh, you know, really nice, friendly people. So I've just arrived. I've got now, um, it's about an hour or so between, uh, before high tide. Now the water is already just starting to lip uh, around the steps here at OC. So I wouldn't have wanted to make it any later on arrival. The tide um, is about a 5.39 metre tide, which looking at the tide tables was actually probably the highest tide this week. And I looked at coming up yesterday, but the, the weather forecast for yesterday wasn't great. So uh, I gave yesterday a miss which actually did me a favour because the, the tide was slightly higher today. So we're hoping to get that tide quite high up underneath the beach huts. But uh, yeah, it's really nice down there. Um, there's going to be a fair amount of Photoshop work to make this image work. And there's probably not a huge amount of compositions. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure how this vlog's going to go, but uh, bear with me and we'll see if we can produce an image or two out of it. For this first composition here, uh, it's while I'm waiting for the tide to come right in, I'm going to take a shot of a single beach hut, uh, just looking straight from the back of it, photographing it out, just so you get the rear um, perspective of the beach hut looking out to sea. Tide's coming in, got a little bit of um, grasses here in the foreground. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just get my 10 stop filter out, uh, just to try and combat um, smooth out the water a little bit. Now there is going to be a bit of movement in the grasses but we'll uh, we'll see, we'll see what that comes out like. I might take two images, one with the 10 stop and one without and maybe merge them together um, but whatever I do with that I'll, uh, I'll put it up on the screen for you and uh, with some information let you know how I achieved this image if it turns out. coming in really quick it's uh, just sweeping around the feet of the tripod here and it's literally just coming up to the grass here. so I think I'm gonna have to move back a bit and uh, see if we can get an image from up the top of the, the promenade here because pretty soon we're gonna be underwater I'm only taking one shot well that's how quick the uh, sea's coming in um, it's up to my ankles now luckily I've got me my muck boots on um, and I've got the bottom section of the tripod splayed out and just to keep them out so any salt water and sand um, I'm gonna 
keep the bottom legs out until I get back home again and, and, and wash them down so none of the salt and sand gets in the mechanisms and stuff. Uh, but the first image was uh, of this perspective. I took a 30 second shot at F14 and that was with a 10 stop uh, Lee Big Stopper and a circular polarizer. Now it's not come in far enough yet so you're not getting um, all the grasses and the bank submerged enough so there's quite a bit of distraction in this shot so again I think I'm going to leave it a little while and uh, well, it ain't going to take long at all at this rate that the tide's coming in and it should cover um, all the area behind the, the, the beach huts and hopefully make for a nice image. I'm going to have to retreat a bit now because I'm about to get wet I think. I don't know if you can see me because I'm shooting directly into the sun but uh, yeah, it's getting dangerously close to the top of my wellies now. I dropped the ISO to ISO 50 and extended the shutter time to a minute and uh, hopefully that's coming out all right. It's just finished now. Have a look on the back of the camera. Yeah, the back of the camera looks, looks nice. You've got that nice smoothed out water. Uh, and there is one or two clouds in the sky which are actually starting to streak at that shutter speed. So uh, hopefully this is only set to improve. The tide isn't due to be high tide for another hour. And uh, we're already up to uh, the pier or the, the promenade, I beg your pardon. See how much further it comes in. But yeah, I think that's gonna have to be my last shot and I'm gonna have to retreat back to the top of the promenade and see what images we can get from up there before I lose off my camera gear. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm in shot even, I can't see. Am I in shot? Uh, well, wing it. Right, I have come back up um, the top of the promenade now and I've just got the tripod kind of stood over uh, the wall onto a concrete ledge the other side uh, just to try and not take up all the footpath really. Again, the, uh, the ISO is down to 50. I'm at F11 on bulb mode. I've got a circular polarizer on and I have actually slipped in a, a free stop soft grad just to try and bring down that sky a little bit and uh, the wind has really picked up so I'm contending with the wind now and I'm hoping at that shutter speed that the, the, the beach huts should still be sharp. If not, then I might have to uh, take a second shot at a quicker shutter speed, maybe merge the two together. But uh, fingers crossed it's sharp enough. It looks okay on the back of the camera, but yeah, experience tells me you never really know till you get back home again. So it's worth covering all your bases. It's a two and a half hour or two hour journey here. I want to make sure that I get it right before I leave. But boy, that tide comes in quick. Well, I've taken several images uh, looking down the length of the beach huts here and I've been trying to get a single image. The problem now is because we're in the middle of the day and I'm guessing because of the time of the year, the sun, you're shooting directly into the sun. So you've got this real hot spot coming across the sea towards the beach huts and it doesn't really matter which beach hut I've picked. I've walked up and down trying to find one where it's not an issue, but they all seem to have that real hot spot in when you're trying to shoot out towards them so I think the earlier shot I got of that might well have been the best shot that I was likely to get. Um, I did contemplate getting the drone up as well but I, the wind, I hadn't seen a, a forecast for the wind but the wind is really gusting down here and it's, it's proven a bit of an issue with having multiple filters on so I have tried several images at uh, different ISOs uh, with the six stop filter as well which I don't think I've logged anything yet but if I, if I put an image up 
which is one that I use the six stop on, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But yeah, that, that shortened the shutter speed down anywhere from like one second to four seconds, um, giving me a slightly quicker shutter time and hopefully less, less movement on the camera and getting a sharper image of the, uh, the beach huts here. I was just speaking to a local just now and he was saying that uh, he's come down several times and uh, this is probably around about the highest tide that you're likely to get. We're 124 now and, and high tide was actually 125, 129 I think it was. Um, and if I remember rightly, this was a, a 5.39 metre tide I think. And we are what, one, two, three, four, five steps from the top of the beach huts here. 90% um, of the grasses are covered. There's one or two little clumps between the, the, the shore and the beach huts that's still showing, but that'll be quite simple to remove in Photoshop. Uh, the rest of it, however, might prove a little bit more tricky. I'm not sure how many more compositions I'm gonna get, um, but I'm gonna wait up here for a little while and just see whether or not the, the sun moves position enough that I can get a, an image of these beach huts before I leave. It's a two hour journey back home again, so I'm in no rush to do it. But yeah. It's lovely. Well, and just like that, the tide was back out again. Um, literally within half an hour, 40 minutes of it being at its highest point, it's now receded back. So as you can now start to see all the grasses and uh, the steps leading up to the beach huts. Unfortunately, um, I didn't get an opportunity to shoot a single beach hut on its own because when the, the tide was in, the sun was uh, not like it is now behind the cloud. It, it was typically blaring straight at you. So short, shooting into the sun proved um, quite a challenge in all honesty, and I couldn't get a nice image out of it. Uh, so I think I really have ended up more or less with just the one composition, um, shooting straight down uh, the, the back end of the beach huts here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed one or two of the images. Anyway, if you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Uh, and if you are thinking about coming to this location, uh, I strongly suggest you do. You don't see many of these, or I've never seen many of these, to be honest. Uh, it's a great location. The staff at the OC uh, caravan site here are really accommodating, if you pardon the pun. Um, yeah, they couldn't do enough for you. They were quite happy for you to come down and uh, shoot the, the beach huts, which are not actually owned by them. They are privately owned, so they can't be um, hired from OC. Uh, but yeah, they did allow me to use the car park and the facilities while I was here. And uh, pretty much all they asked was that I tagged them in any images uh, that I put online, which I'm only too happy to do. So uh, any images that I put on my social media, um, I will try and tag OC caravan site in uh, and hope one or two of you come down here and look forward to seeing any images that you get from this location. Uh, typically, <laughs> as I'm standing here now, the wind has kind of dropped, uh, which at, at high tide, the, the wind was so high, I really didn't want to get the drone up. Um, I don't know, we might, we might even get it up yet. Maybe, but if not, thanks very much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Take care, see you soon. Cheers then.